Welcome everyone to another episode of Dungeon Jedi Masters. Today we're actually going to take a look at a the latest adventure that we brought out uh, from Dungeon Jedi Masters to our Patreon subscribers. To the, it's called the Temple of the Mad Sith. Uh, it was made available uh, Tuesday for all of our Patreon subscribers. Uh, if you're already with Patreon with us, uh, you can reach that by going to DungeonJediMasters.com, clicking on the support link, and you can download this adventure uh, uh, and run it with your party. If you're not a Patreon subscriber, definitely recommend you checking us out. Uh, by supporting with us, we do a new NPC uh, an adventure every month for our tier three or tier two subscribers or three dollars a month uh, and basically what we do is uh we come up with a custom npc uh one month and the next month we come out with a adventure that you can run for your players using that npc uh so last month was lord Antius, uh the mad sith uh this month we're running the temple of the mad sith with him this one's a fun one. Uh, I came up with this one a little while ago and ran it uh, with a test group, uh, and it's been a blast uh, to both run as a DM uh, and the players I'd ran it with uh, had both uh, at all had a really good time with it. Uh, give you a little run through of what the adventure entails. Uh, Ancius was a Sith that is either, depending on how you want to run it for your campaign, been twisted by a dark side relic, or even just the dark side itself is just loosened his grip on sanity and he's gone insane with power uh he's holed up on a backwater planet you can use any planet we wanted to keep it loose so you can fit it into any campaign that you'd like to um i put them on the planet Vujin since it has a long history of crazy dark siders on there and i thought he would fit right in with it uh but basically he's taken over the planet uh, and is pretty much just tormenting its citizens. He's built a strong planetary defense system, preventing the Republic from dropping any troops and uh, kind of combating him that way. Uh, he's just really been using that system and just tormenting them and putting them through what he likes to call his games, which are pretty much just twisted scenarios he comes up with for his own entertainment, where he either pits the villagers against themselves or other obstacles and just watches on uh, with glee. I really enjoy running him as a DM because he's not your typical dark sider who has a big plan or is trying to conquer anything. He's just trying to, to stay entertained and will do things that another Sith Lord wouldn't be to keep himself entertained. Uh, like he may go against his interest or his uh, his uh, uh, minion's interest just to keep himself entertained. So you could really kind of have him flip flop and do things uh, another Sith Lord wouldn't uh, and just really antagonize your party while they're in the temple. The nice thing with these adventures, too, uh, is they're all either going to be error agnostic or have different things you can, or tips to tweak them to your error. Uh, mine was set in the Old Republic, but this could really fit any error. Uh, those are the few tweaks. Uh, this uh, I ran it on two. These are either going to be one shots or two shots. This one's a two shot, so you could do it depending on the length of your sessions. I ran it in two three-hour sessions and fit perfectly within that. You're able to get on all the different craziness and encounters and have some good space for role play too. Uh, so definitely one uh, that I would check out. Uh, the nice thing too is these adventures are all kind of suited for the SW5E or Star Wars 5E system. So there's no conversions or no tweaks or anything that you need to, to do. We include uh, the scenario, the, the NPCs, as well as all the monster blocks for you that you'll need either within the document or by linking to the Star Wars 5e website. But overall, as I said, if you're a Patreon with us already, this is released. You can go right on and download this and run it with your party. Uh, and if you do get a chance to run it, let me know how it goes. Uh, I always love kind of hearing how these ones play out, and uh, I'd love to see how your party reacted and some of the choices they made. So if you get a chance to run it, feel free to drop it in the comments or reach out to me on Reddit or Discord or however you like and let me know how it went for your team. Uh, and if you're not with Patreon with us, We'd love to have you be a subscriber. Uh, as I said, each month we're either going to be dropping an NPC or an adventure or something that you can use for your table to really improve the games you're having. Uh, so basically, and just to give you a little run through or transparency, what we do with the, the Patreon donations, we use them for our hosting fees for both our website, uh, DungeonJediMasters.com, where you can get links to our podcast or YouTube, as well as our Patreon, uh, or we use them for our actual hosting fees for all of our podcasts if you're just a youtube fan with us check us out uh every tuesday we uh we release a new podcast on a different star wars 5e topic uh where we go in depth and go with uh kind of tips and tricks for using whatever that item is or whatever that topic is at your table 
This week we did factions, uh, and we went in depth on how you can bring factions to life at your table. So if you're just a YouTube fan, check us out there. Every Tuesday you can reach it once again by going through DungeonJediMasters.com uh, and see those new podcasts. Uh, and basically what we use those Patreon donations for is to be able to keep all of our library of podcasts on there. Uh, we use Podbean as our subscriber, and if we don't pay the fee, they will take off our old adventure or old uh, uh, old uh, podcast. So that's what we use them for, just to make sure we can keep the breadth of our library up there uh, and continue to provide great content to you guys. So to all of our, po- our current podcasts, our subscribers, or to all of our current, I'm sorry, sorry, Patreon subscribers, we appreciate you guys. Like We really uh, love that you guys are supporting our content and enjoying our work. And uh, definitely, if there's anything that you guys think well, additionally you'd want from us, let us know. Todd and I are both happy to kind of make sure we get fans are getting what they want. Uh, and if you're new or thinking about subscribing with us, we'd love to have you on, too. You can get great adventures like the adventure temple of the mad sith and uh todd has one up already with uh, the explosive extraction uh that are a lot of fun and ready to go so you can just throw them in your table uh and a great way for a new dm to get set up or somebody that likes to run modules to get a few free modules that are already cooked up for the star wars 5e system uh, but overall, just thank you for everybody, uh, our Patreon subscribers, our YouTube subscribers, everybody that's just uh, keeping up with our content. We truly appreciate it and didn't expect to see so much uh, engagement so quickly. Uh, but thank you guys. I hope you had a great May 4th, and may the 4th be with you.